Okay, our tarot spread for today is called the Crazy Brain Spread. And I chose this one because there's only three positions for this spread, and it has the potential to be really wide-ranging and general, since this is a general reading for I don't know how many people. I guess the three people who find my YouTube channel. Anyway, I have these shuffled. I'm just ruffling them up a little bit here. And I think I'm going to just pull randomly from here. That way we get a good mix of the cards. And I'm going to do each position in such a way that I'm pulling for who knows how many people. If you connect with it, you'll connect with it, and you'll know. So the first position on this spread, it says, what do you think is going on? What do you think is going on? Well, for someone, there's secrets being kept. What do you think is going on? Um, for some of you, um, a situation has kind of come to a standstill. Um, there is no progress being made on something. Obviously on something you expect progress on, <laughs> if you think this is what's going on. Um, or some of you, what do you think is going on? You think that someone is coming in with a, with an offer for a, a start to a relationship. With an offer of, yeah. Something new coming in on the romantic horizon. For some of you, what do you think is going on? You think that someone is being really stubborn, and you think that they are. Uh, they're they're not. There's no give and take. They're not willing to um, negotiate. What do you think is going on? Someone is starting off a new project, uh, someone is starting off a new something in life with no game plan. This might have you worried, unless this is you, and then you're going to wonder why is everyone else worried? I don't know. And finally, uh, what do you think is going on? Well, someone's being really irresponsible with finances, and someone isn't keeping track of business, not taking care of business as they should. So this is the first position in this spread, what do you think is going on? So I'm going to pull six cards for the next two positions, and we'll see what happens. See if you connect with something on here. The second position for this, that's my dog here. The second position is the question, what is really going on? What is really going on? Okay, so behind these secrets up here, what is really going on? Ooh. Oh yeah. Oh, what is really going on though? Is someone someone isn't um, giving you correct information, or someone is deliberately being deceptive or deceitful? Um, actually, I could just say it real plain. Somebody's lying to you. So, so you're right in your suspicions that there are secrets being kept. Okay, someone taken off in just different directions. So, what is really going on? Someone has put a stop to the progression of something because they have set new boundaries. They've set boundaries and they're also being much more leery and less willing to just jump in and trust. Sorry if you hear my puppy. I'm not sure how much of that you're picking up. So what is really going on? Ooh, this card. Oh, that love interest? You, you may discover, once you start really communicating with um, this person who you think is offering you uh, like a new opportunity for a new relationship, a new love interest, they're not all they're cracked up to be, and they may be glorifying themselves, making themselves look really good, or it may be one of those people who, who really wants a relationship with you, and they, they know what you like, so everything you like, they will like. Uh, that's happened to me once in my early 20s. I like horses, and I met this guy at a restaurant, and he had horses, which wasn't true. But he found out I liked horses, so that's that's this kind of thing I'm getting for this new love interest coming in. Like, uh-uh. No. The communication isn't clear. It's not truthful. And like I said, either they're glorifying themselves, or they're trying to like everything you like and give you all the right answers. 
So what is really going on? Oh, this, uh, yes, this kind of, uh, this person over here who, who just won't budge and won't uh, negotiate and, and won't um, um, meet anyone halfway, this just kind of clarifies that. The King of Wands is like a control freak. You're not going to get anywhere with this person. So if you insist on continuing this relationship or this job with this person or this project with this person, whatever the connection is, you have to be the one to give in because they're not, they're not going to give in. Stubborn, stubborn, stubborn. What is really going on? Oh, someone here headed off into the blue with uh, with no game plans. Um, it's a it's a matter of nostalgia. It's a matter of wanting something from their past. It's a matter of not thinking about consequences. It can also be a matter of remembering things in an all positive nature. It, it's called a halo effect in psychology. It's when you think back and you remember a, an individual or a relationship, but so much time has passed, your brain only lets you remember the good things. You don't remember everything that made this a past relationship in the first place. So there's a lot of, um, a lot of glorification of the past. There's a lot of, um, uh, uh, putting putting someone from the past on a pedestal because you just remember them in a very saintly way, only the good things. And so you're kind of starting off on a journey here without a clue. And, um, you know, sometimes lessons in life have to be relearned a couple of times before it sinks into our brain. So what is really going on? Oh, well, this one's sticking, has to. Oh, the, the person who just is not handling finances or is handling things in secret, uh, keeping things hidden from a partner or a business partner or a romantic partner, someone who is letting finances go and not running things correctly, yeah, um, either that person is going to get a chance to toss their old ways out and start over and straighten things up, or someone else is going to come in and straighten things up for them. There's going to be a new opportunity here to clean this up, whatever this is. You know, for some people, the starting over might be a bankruptcy. I'm sorry, that's just what popped into my head. Sometimes, you know, you got to do what you got to do. The last position for this crazy brain spread, what to do about it, if anything. What to do about these situations, if anything. Okay. Ooh, uh, <laughs> what to do about it? Um, uh, you're, there's going to be consequences to the secrets and this deceptive person. The one thing you can do about it is nail them to the wall. Nail them to the wall with communication. Uh, all those little swords in, in that person's back, all, those are all questions. Those are all demands to clarify something. Clarify the truth. Show me some proof. Show me you're not lying. So getting clarification from someone may be something to do with that, that situation. What to do, if anything, about this situation? So progress has stopped. Someone is getting really, really, maybe even almost resentful and very cautious and very guarded. And the lovers come up for that. The lovers is a card of choices. So someone, and I don't feel that the lovers is in this section of cards in a romantic context at all, but as a matter of choice, um, you're going to have to decide if it's not you who is this stubborn person who has set boundaries and will stop progress on something, you're going to have to decide if you want to continue or you want to just drop the ball and move on. Start over. Whatever it is, if it's a work project, drop the ball, start over with a new partner, start over with someone new to help you, whatever it is. Mm. Yeah, um, someone's going to have to stop standing on the fence, so make a decision, decision to be made. Now, for what to do about this, if anything, for our next one, oh. the romantic offer coming in, the mixed 
communication that's got all kinds of red flags. <laughs> oh, oh, four of cups. Uh, let this one go. Let this one go. If you feel someone's coming in with um, a new romantic offer for you, but the communication just leaves you uh, with that bad feeling, um, let this one go. There's many more fish in the sea. If you think someone's not telling you the truth or glorifying themselves or, or trying to say things to make you like them more or to make them seem like they would be a good match, move on. Lots of other fish in the sea. Okay, the next one. All oh, this stubbornness, this inability to give and take, this inability to compromise. What you do about it, if anything? You can't really do anything about them, so you have to take and nurture and take care of yourself. So, so stop trying to, to uh, barter or compromise and negotiate with someone who is so stubborn and they're, they're not going to do it. Forget about them. Move on and take care of and build something on your own. So what to do about it, if anything, this person who is starting off seeking something from their past that they may have glorified or sainted or, or not remembered clearly. Here, let me take this one. Oh, um, uh, stop waiting for them. If this is someone you know who's part of your life and they have taken off like this and you can't, it's come up reversed, you can't reason with them. Like, you don't want to do this. You don't want to go back to that. You, you, you can't go back and find what was here because whatever was here didn't work the first time. So, so this is a card of waiting for things. Threesomes, too. It is funny, isn't that? Reversed. Stop waiting. Move on. Let them go back. Let them find out for themselves. Let them go off on that journey without a game plan, and you move on. Move on. Don't wait for them. What to do about it, if anything? Here's our financial conundrum. What about this? Oh, here. Oh. Huh. Well, throughout all of this, someone has lost their power. This is a magician. Come up reversed. So, so whatever this is, the financial situation, you either dropped the ball or you handed it to someone else and they are making a shit show out of it. You have a chance to regain control of your finances and to put everything right and to patch it up and to fix it. And so this card is just kind of confirming that you, you lost your power. Uh, you can write this card by reclaiming your power and um, taking care of business yourself and taking care of it correctly. <laughs> That's that's the stickler here. You gotta do you gotta do things right and take care of things correctly. So this is all for the crazy brain spread today, and thank you for joining me at my YouTube channel. This is part of my expanded website, the Tarot Parlor, and until next time, bye bye.